please sit down. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Just relax. It's all going to be okay. I thought you might faint there for a minute. I know you're surprised to see me. It's all right. You didn't know you had a fairy godmother, did you? Most people don't, and we don't appear very often. Yes, I could tell you needed some help. So I've come. Mm hmm I'm here to help. We'll start with one problem at a time, okay? You and me. We're going to tackle each of the things you need to accomplish, you need to get over, but for today... We're just going to start with one. Okay? So I need you to help me. I am a fairy godmother and I grant wishes, but the way we work has changed. We don't just solve problems. We help with problems. So I need you to do your part as well. Are you willing to accept that? Okay. I'm more than willing to do my part if you're willing to do yours. All right? Okay. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. It'll be okay. The first thing I need you to do is think about what you need right now. What is your top priority? What do you need more of in your life? Don't just jump to money. It may not solve the problem that you need. Do you need better health? Do you need to move more? Remember, we'll have time to get to each problem, so don't feel like you need to pick the biggest problem. Just the one you need right now. So, do you need a more relaxed routine in your day? Do you need a more peaceful work environment? Do you need silence? Do you need energy? Do you need help? Do you just need some rest? Do you need to spend some time with friends or family? another loved one, maybe some time with your children, or maybe just some time alone. Do you want to find some more creativity? Do you need some spiritual guidance? You need to get more fresh air or healthy food. Just take care of yourself. Don't feel overwhelmed. It's easy to think of every problem in your life and feel like you need to fix them all at once. Pick one that seems most important at the moment. 
picture what your perfect day would look like. What does it include that's not in your daily life? Yes, I can help with that. Really think about it. Do you know what you want? Well then go ahead, make your wish. Oh, that's a good one. Yes, I can definitely help with that. I look forward to it. But again, let me explain that our work in this day and age is different than it used to be. No more waving of a magic wand. The way we do our work, someone from the outside looking in would think all of the work was done by you. They didn't, wouldn't know that you had magical assistance from someone like me. And it does take some work from you, but know that I will be guiding and assisting throughout the process. You must believe that what your goals are working towards will happen. You must be able to see it. You must know you will attain what you desire. So the next step comes from you, knowing I am helping all the way. Think of one small step that you are willing to do to move towards this goal. It doesn't have to be big. And you must decide that you really need it, that you really want this goal. And you need to pick a step that you will complete, that you feel confident you can accomplish. It does not have to be a big step. A small step is preferable. And now after that step, you will choose more steps, taking one small step at a time, but don't think of those additional steps right now. Just one small step. So if you'd like more creativity, you need to set aside time to think creative thoughts. Think of what that step would be. Make sure you commit to it. I can't help you unless you are making the steps. But it's almost like you'll be walking on the moon. Each step will be a bounce will be much larger than it would have been here on Earth. You will move much farther than you imagined, and it will seem easier than you anticipated, for I will be there, lightening the gravity, so to say. Does that make sense? Good. Do you know what your first step will be? Good choice. Yes, that sounds very manageable, but it will definitely put you on the right path. Mm -hmm. And I will help speed you along. Once you feel confident in that step, 
You can think of other steps. I will be there. And if you're not moving forward, I will come back and give you a nudge. Now, before I leave you, we do have one other smaller wish I'm able to grant. So now I want you to think of what you need less of in your life. Seems like a funny thing to think about. But it's sometimes the negative things in our lives that cause us more pain than the things we want and don't have. So, what do you need less of? Less email? <laughs> Fewer phone calls? Less junk or work reading? Are you taking on too much? Are you doing too much volunteering? Too much work for other people? not yourself? Are you watching too much television? Do you have too much clutter in your home? Do you have too much food in your life? A common complaint in this day and age. Do you have too much anxiety and fear? Do you have too much worry? Do you have too much anger? Do you have too much regret? Is there too much noise in your life, either physical or mental? Have you thought of what it is you need less of? Hmm. This is often an easier task. Our worries tend to pop up in our head much sooner than our needs. So, what is your wish to have less of? A very good choice. Less of that will make a big difference in your life. I can help to try and remove that, but again, you need to take a step with me. We'll hold hands and step down that path of removing the negative items from your life. So what is one step you could take to remove that from your path? Not entirely, not right away. Something you can commit to. Make a not-to-do list with only one item. One last thing you can do. One thing you can easily let go of. What is your choice? Yes. That will definitely move you in the right direction. I think you will be happy to let that go and to know I give you permission. It's not neglectful. It's not avoiding responsibility. 
It's self-care. That's important. I give you the okay. If someone asks you why you're giving this up, you can tell them your godmother told you to. Sometimes we just need permission. Are you struggling with these tasks at all? Close your eyes for a moment. Picture what your life would be like after I help with your transformation. You have more of the things you need. You have less of the things you don't want in your life. How is that different? How do you feel? What does your day look like? When you get up in the morning, how do you feel? What's the first thought in your head when you wake up? Are you happy to get up in the morning? Or do you just want to burrow under the covers and go back to bed? Hopefully, you'll be happy to get up after this transformation. What do you do when you first get up? What makes you feel awake? What makes you feel ready for the day? Where do you go when you're ready to leave the house? Or do you decide to stay home? Who do you decide to see? Or do you take a quiet day alone? What does your body need to feel refreshed and healthy and taken care of? What does your mind need to feel the same way? They are very interconnected. We need a healthy body for a healthy mind, and vice versa. What do you do in your afternoon? Where do you go? If you could do anything, what would it be? Who do you spend your time with? Who do you eat your meals with, or do you eat alone? What do you have for your meals? What would make you feel full and healthy? and well. How do you spend your evening? How do you relax after a long day? Even if it's an enjoyable fun day, it's important to wind down before bed. How do you let your mind and body relax? Relaxation is imperative, even in a happy life. And know the things that help you to wind down, feel cared for, even if it's just by yourself. How do you take care of yourself? You can't rely on other people to take care of you. You need to be able to take care of you. And if you can't, you need to know who to reach out to for help. Where do you sleep? Do you fall asleep easily after your wonderful day? How is it? 
to feel your needs taken care of. You and I will work to bring you to this place. Few humans stay in this place permanently, but they can get to this place of feeling taken care of, having your needs met, and minimizing the things in your life you don't need or want. And when you fall from this position, you know the things to do to get back there, even if it might take some time. And know that I'm here to help you along, to give you that boost, that magical assistance. I won't always appear. But you'll feel me helping you as long as you are putting one foot in front of the other. I can't do it alone. Do you feel up to the challenge? Good. Because if you are, we can make some wonderful changes. Well, know I'm here. And I'll be looking out for you.